life as cute. Today's topic is going to be about a feeling that we've all felt at least once in our life. Some of you probably felt it today. Some of you probably felt it last week. Maybe even this past month. There's going to be times where you're going to feel and you're going to ask this question. Allah, have you abandoned me? Allah, have you left me? Allah, have you forgotten about me? And the answer, of course, is no. But the reason we feel this way is because we've become so materialistic. We've associated Allah's love, His care, His concern to having things. The more Allah has given you, that means the more He loves you. The more Allah has taken from you, that means He's probably upset with you. He doesn't love you. He doesn't care about you. Why me, Allah? We've become so materialistic that if something good is happening to us, we think it's a favor from Allah. But if something evil happens to us, it's a punishment from Allah. Why? When the best of people to walk this earth, when they would be trialed, they would be tried with some affliction, something wrong would happen to them. They never thought it was wrong. They knew it was something good. They knew that this was something that had to pass to upgrade their relationship with Allah. You see, when you and I go through a trial, tribulation, we think Allah is punishing us. Allah has forgotten about us because we've become so self-absorbed. But you see, the messengers and the salaf and the best of people knew that when Allah tested them, that was Allah's way of upgrading their relationship. So, if you are in a test currently right now, if you're going through a trial currently right now, just know that this is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's way of upgrading you. Updating your firmware, your software, that iOS that you have, whatever's inside of you, Allah is updating that and upgrading it for you. Because He knows that for you to become a better person, you have to pass this test. And the only way for that ease to come in your life is if you get inflicted with some difficulty. Because indeed, with difficulty comes ease. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless us. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept from us. And we ask Allah